In this lecture, let's learn about Content Child Decorator and what is its use in Angular. The Content Child Decorator is used to access a reference of a DOM element or a component or a directive from the projected content. And this reference we can access from the Child Component class. Now, in the last lecture, we learned about ng content angular element and we also learned about content projection. So, basically, let's say we have a child component and in the view template of child component, we are using this ng content angular element. Now, when we are going to use the selector of this child component in some other component, for example, let's say here we have this parent component and in the view template of that parent component, we are using the selector of child component. Let's assume that this app child is the selector for this child component. So we are using its selector in the parent component. Now, since we have used this ng content element here, what we can do is in between opening and closing component selector, we can specify some content. That content can be an HTML element or a component or a directive. So here what will happen is when the Angular application will run, this content which we have specified in between the opening and closing component selector that will replace the ng content in the child component and this is called as content projection and we already talked about it in our previous lecture now using content child decorator what we can do is we can access a reference of any of these projected contents in the child component class let's try to understand this with a simple example so here we have the view template of parent component and here we have the component class of child component. Now let's say in the component class of child component, I want to get a reference of this paragraph element. Now this paragraph element, we are projecting it from the parent component. So we want to get a reference of this paragraph element in the child component class. For that, we can use content child decorator. So basically, we are creating a property, we are calling it paraEL and we are decorating it with content child decorator. And to this content child decorator, we are passing a selector. The selector in this case is template reference variable. So if you notice on this paragraph element, we have used a template reference variable. So we are using that template reference variable as a selector. So what this content child will do is, it will look into the projected content. It will select the first matching element from the projected content which matches this selector. In this case, this paragraph element has this template reference variable, so it will match that selector, so it will be selected. And its reference will be assigned to this paraEL property. And this is the use of content child decorator. Let's understand this practically. So here, I have created a very simple Angular project. I'm calling it Angular Content Child. Now in this project, if I go to the source folder, First of all, we have this app folder and in this app folder, we have our app component. Then we also have this parent folder and in this parent folder, we have our parent component. So let me go to the view template of this parent component. In there, if you notice, first of all, we have a div and in that div, we are using a component selector called app child. And this selector is basically the selector for the child component. So here you can see we have this child folder. Let me go to child component.ts file. And in there, you will see that we have this child component class and the selector for that component class is app child. And we are using this same selector in parent component.html. Now, let me also show you the view template of this child component. So let's also open child component.html. In there, we have a very simple HTML. First of all, we have this div. And inside this div, we have this h2 element. We have a horizontal line break. And then we are also using this ng content angular element. Then again, we have this horizontal line break and then we have this button element. Okay. So when this component will be rendered in the web page from the parent component for this ng content, we are projecting some HTML. You can see for the projected content, we have this H3 element and this paragraph element. So this HTML here, it will replace this ng content in the child component. So basically, this HTML will be projected in place of this ng content. So if you save the changes and if you go to the web page, you will see that we have a simple card. In this card, this h2 element, it is coming from child component. So it is basically this h2 element. Then this button element also, it is coming from child component. 
so this button element now in place of this ng content you will notice that we have an h3 element and a paragraph so this content here this we are projecting from the parent component so in place of this ng content we are projecting this h3 element and this paragraph element okay now what i want is in the child component class so inside this class i want to have a property let's call that property maybe paragraph el and inside this property i want to store a reference of this paragraph element for that we are going to decorate this paragraph element with at content child decorator and in order to use this content child decorator we also need to import it from angular slash core and there we need to pass a selector so we talked about view child decorator in one of the lectures and this content child decorator it works in the same way how the view child works so here also we need to specify a selector for the selector i am going to use this template reference variable which we have specified on this paragraph element and i'll pass it here so now what this content child decorator will do is it will search for an element in the projected content with this selector so in the projected content currently we have one h3 element and one paragraph element and this paragraph element matches the selector which we are passing to this content child decorator so this content child decorator it will get the reference of this paragraph element from the dom and it will assign that reference to this property so this property here it is going to store a reference of paragraph element from the projected content and since it is going to store a reference of a paragraph element basically an html element we can specify the type of this property as element ref now again in order to use this element ref we need to import it from angular slash co so let's go ahead and let's do that now just to test that this paragraph element it is storing a reference of this paragraph here what we will do is let's go to child component.html there we have this button element on this button element let's bind click event and when this click event happens let's say we want to call a method maybe style paragraph let's go ahead and let's create this method in the child component class so here i will create that method and here i'll simply log this paragraph element in the console so for that let's say console.log and we want to log this paragraph element and since it is a property we need to access it using this keyword with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page let's open developer console let me clear everything here and now when i click on this button you will notice that an element ref has been logged here if i expand that element ref we have this native element and when i hover over this p you will notice that that paragraph element is being highlighted in the ui this means that this native element it is basically pointing to this paragraph element let's go back to vs code and here let's say paragraph element dot native element okay again let's save the changes let's go to the web page let me clear the console here and now when i click on this button you will see that that paragraph element has been logged here so this proves that this paragraph el here it is storing a reference of this paragraph element from the projected content now you can say can't we achieve this using view child well we cannot achieve this using view child because this paragraph element it is present in the view template of parent component and we want to access a reference of this paragraph element in the component class of child component so because of that it is not possible now next question will be can we access a reference of this paragraph element from the parent component view template into the parent component class let's actually try that so let's go ahead and let's open the parent component class in there let's go ahead and let's create a property let's call it para el it is going to be of type element ref and let's go ahead and let's decorate it with at view child decorator and in order to use this view child decorator we also need to import it from angular slash co we also need to import this element ref from angular slash co okay and here let's pass the selector so what do we want to do here 
inside this para el property we want to assign a reference of this paragraph element so i'll use this template reference variable and i'll pass it as selector here now we want to check whether this property will be assigned with a reference of this paragraph element or not for that in the parent component let's simply create a button element okay and on this let's go ahead and let's bind click event and when this click event happens let's say we want to call a method maybe show para value you can name this method anything this is just for testing and i'll go ahead and i'll create this method in the parent component class okay and here i simply want to log the value stored in this para el so here let's say this dot para el with this let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now we should have one more button element as you can see here let me go ahead and let me add some text for that button let's say show value okay let's go back to the web page so here we have that button now when i click on this button just notice what happens here you will notice that in this case this element ref have been logged here and when i expand this element ref and when i hover over it again it is highlighting this paragraph so in this way if you want to access a reference of a dom element from the view template to that component class then we can use view child decorator but if we want to access a reference of a dom element from the parent component into the child component class in that case we need to use content child if i use view child here let's see what happens so let me go ahead and let me use view child here instead of content child and in order to use this view child, we also need to import it from angular slash co. And here for now, instead of logging the native element, let's simply try to log this paragraph element property. If you save the changes and if you go to the web page, let me clear the console here. And when I click on this learn more button, you will notice that undefined has been logged here. That means using this view child, we cannot access a reference of a projected content from the parent component view template into the child component class for that we need to use content child so i hope the difference between content child and view child is clear to you all right now let me go to this parent component and from there let's remove this button element let's go ahead and let's close this parent component.ts file all right now currently we are only projecting some html elements for example this s3 element and this paragraph element but it is also possible to project a component so what we will do is inside this app component let's create one more component for that let's go ahead and let's open a new terminal and here let's type the ng generate command and here we want to generate a component and let's call this component test and the test component has been created here you can see a folder called test in there we have the files related to the test component let's go to the html file of this test component and in here let's write some html maybe here let's say your name is and then here i want to use a property so in the test component class let's go ahead and let's create a property let's call it name it is going to be of type string and let's assign it with a value let's say john smith Okay, now let's go ahead and let's use this property in the view template. Okay, so here we have the component class for this test component and in the view template of that test component, we have a single paragraph element and there we are also using the name property of this test component class. Okay, let's save the changes here and let's grab the selector of this test component. Let's close this file. Let's also close this test component.html file and in here, after this paragraph element let's say i want to use that test component so now this test component will also get projected along with this h3 element and this paragraph element so if i go to child component.html in place of this ng content you will see this h3 element this paragraph element and also the view template of this app test now in the view template of this app test we have a single paragraph element so if i save the changes and if you go to the web page 
you see it says your name is and then the value stored in the name property so in this way we are also projecting a component here now if you want to get a reference of the instance of the test component which will be created using this selector then all you have to do is on this component you need to specify a template reference variable since it is a component you can also use the component class name for example let's go to child component class in there let's create one more property i'll call it test el and in this test el i want to assign a reference of the instance of the test component so this test el here it is going to be of type test component okay now i'll assign this one with at content child decorator because here we want to get a reference of the projected content right and in here we can specify the selector so for the selector either we can use a template reference variable on this app test or we can also specify the type of the component class so in this case the type of the component class is test component okay with this if we save the changes and let's also go ahead and let's log the value of this test tl so here let me go ahead and let me write another console.log statement and in there i log this dot test el let's save the changes let's go to the web page let me clear the console here and let's click on this learn more button so first you will notice that the element ref has been logged here basically the paragraph which we are referencing from our child component class and then an instance of this test component class has also been logged here okay and in that test component class we have this name property which is assigned with this john smith so if we want to access the name property of that instance we can simply say test el dot name so now the value of the name property of that test el will be logged if you save the changes if we go to the web page again i'll clear the console first and then i'll click on this learn more button so here you will see element ref has been logged here and then the value stored in the name property has been logged here so we can also get a reference of a component which we are projecting using content child decorator so i hope with these examples the use of content child decorator is clear to you and also what is the difference between content child and view child if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day